Hey friends, it's Crystal. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. We share business resources for booth and store owners, our junking trips, thrift store hauls, and product makeovers. We also have printables over on our blog that you are allowed to download and sell in your booth. So if you like this kind of content, please hit that like button. Happy fall, y'all. It is my favorite time of the year, favorite month. I love getting out and junking and going to yard sales and estate sales and just thrifting and all of that good stuff around this time of the year. But today's video is all about vintage clocks and clock faces. So if you are a clock lover, you will love this video. But if you don't, you probably won't enjoy it. And I would just go ahead and click off. But anyway, I was just in awe of the two listings I found last week. I hit the jackpot. The first gentleman had these vintage clocks for sale for $3 each, which I could not believe. I just knew when I messaged him that they were already going to be sold, but to my surprise, they were available. And when I got there, he said a family member used to be a clock maker and he was just downsizing some of the inventory. So this first one is a wooden clock from the 20s. It's missing the glass. I'm not sure if it works or not. I didn't test it. I was just so excited to share these. I couldn't wait. I didn't even bother to clean them up. But he told me all three of these wooden clocks are from the 20s. I'm not sure if this one works, but it has a general electric sticker on the bottom that's peeling off. But this one just looks so art deco with that rounded curve. I thought this one was sweet, but it has a crack across the glass. But yeah, these first three I'm going to be selling. So if you guys are interested, let me know or you can message me. But this was the one that drew me into the ad. I collect Big Ben and Baby Ben clocks, but I had never seen one with a hook on it. I guess you could hang it on the wall. This one was really sweet too. It's missing the glass. Uh, the hands are missing. But look at all of this chippy black paint. So I will be keeping it. And then here is a little sweet baby bin. I definitely will be keeping this one also. But here is a comparison from the baby bin to the big bin. I think these are just so pretty. They're timeless. Ha ha. <laughs> and then I will be keeping this one. It definitely needs to be cleaned up. But these clocks are running anywhere from 50 and up on eBay and Etsy. This one is 100 years old. It is stamped 1922 on the bottom. And this one's heavy and I will be selling it. The glass is missing though. I'm not sure if it works. And then here is the picture from the listing for the clock faces. A really sweet lady messaged me back and said that she would be sending these out and look how they came they were just so pretty she just really put a lot of time and effort into packaging this up for me and making it look all nice and i really appreciate it when a seller makes a package look pretty because i try to do that too when i have items that have sold I, you know i try to make it feel like a gift because presentation is everything and this one's so sweet all chippy i will be keeping it and it's going to be fun to stage at Christmas. But speaking of presentation, I can't believe I'm showing you my hands. I don't have my acrylics on and I didn't have time to go get them done. So I was just like, okay, what the heck? But I thought this one was pretty also. I love that embossed center and the staining on the numbers. I'm going to be keeping this one also. But man, acrylic nails just, they take a toll on your real nails, don't they? And then they make your real nails look awful. <laughs> this one I will be, will be selling too. It has a um, raised texture on the numbers. Loved this one. I love all of that brown staining. It reminds me of a piece of ironstone. And then that pretty embossed center. And then this next one was metal. It's almost all gone. I will be selling it. But these inspired me to make some clock price tags for you guys, which I will be showing in a few minutes. And then this one's plastic and the backside is metal and I will be selling it. 
but I'll have a link in the description box below so you guys can go over on the blog and grab these tags. I will be selling this one also. It was, it was metal. And then this next one is, I believe, out of a grandfather clock. It's metal, quite large, and I will be selling it and this next one. These last two are pretty good size, and they're both metal and heavy. Well, this one's heavier than the other one, but I think these would just be so pretty staged. And then here's a recap of everything. So if you guys see one that you like, let me know in the comments, or you can email us. And then here are the tags. I did two different kinds. And if you have a paper cutter, it makes this go a lot easier to just cut these and then use your hole punch to punch out the center. And then um, you can use any kind of ribbon or jute string. I thought these would just be so pretty as a price tag. And I just used the jute twine. But you could use these in your journal making or even to include a note in a card if, if you still send cards. But then here is some staging. And then coming up, I have the featured booth for this video. We try to include a booth or a store. And you guys are always asking for inspiration for a booth that sells clothing. So this one sells clothing and she has some other things, but I'm just gonna let you guys sit back and watch the rest of the video and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.